Hello friends, my name is Taufik and you are watching my channel Graphics Den. So in this video, I am going to tell you about the repeat option which is located under the object menu over here, right here. So let's get started. So first I will create shape that I want. So I will turn off the fill color first and using the shape builder tool, I am going to create a petal like shape that I want. You can choose any shape that you want, but I want this specific shape for now so shape builder tool and i will create shape and i will fill color so this is the shape that i want you can always choose any shape that you are looking for i will change the color now if you go to options and repeat we can do three types of repeat so first of all if you want to set values you can use this one and set the values that you are looking for and we have three values or three options rather radial grid and mirror so first of all we, we are going to check the radial option so i will select this first first so selecting the object it's very important so i will select this object first and options repeat and go to radial so as soon as you go to radial you will get this repeat option we can do the similar thing by using a shortcut key Control d or command d so that will repeat the steps that you have created this is pretty pretty much simple but we can do more using this option so using this option over here the up and down arrow if you go up the number of objects will increase and if you go down the objects will decrease so like this it's pretty easy so what i'll do is i will undo this so to get a better understanding what i'll do is i will uh, reduce the opacity so let's say i want 50 or Round about 50 so 53 is okay so you will get a better understanding so how it works so object again I'm going to use the repeat radial so if I increase the shapes it will overlap each other and it will create this beautiful shape so this is how we can use and if I go down it will decrease the number of shapes so this is how it works and not only this you can always change the location or the size using this option over here so you can always change the size design so by changing this option we will get different designs and if you want you can always change the colors like this so this increases or this controls rather the number of objects and this controls the size overall size and another good thing about this option is if you want so we have completed this shape now and what i'll do is i will remove the outline so it will look much better so we have completed this uh, shape so let's say if i want to if i want the original object back so what we can do is we can simply click or select the the result that we have got and go to object again and go to repeat and click on release so we will get the original object so that is the beauty of this particular option so we can make any number of changes and if you click on release we will get the original original object if you want it now again going back to the second option repeat grid so we will get uh, like patterns we create patterns in adobe illustrator this is pretty much similar so we can increase the width like this and using this we can change the spacing like this this is the vertical spacing and if you want to change the horizontal spacing we can use this option like this and we can easily very easily create some really interesting patterns as you can see really interesting patterns and if you change colors you will again get some really cool effects like this you can always change if you don't like it you can play with the values like this so this looks like a really cool garment cloth pattern you can always change if you are not happy with the result and again if you want the original object back you can simply go to object repeat and release so we will get the original object back again the third option the last option in this particular thing so repeat and go to mirror so whatever you draw it will 
create a mirror exact mirror of this particular so let's see if i copy this alt and left click so it will exactly mirror this step <clears throat> so even if i will undo this i will delete this and i'll go to object repeat so we need to create at least one object object and go to repeat mirror and let's say if i use the pen tool and if i draw something on one side it will replicate exact so we will get exactly symmetrical object on the other side so like this so this is as easy to create a symmetrical shape using this mirror option in the repeat menu or the repeat option so this is how we can use the repeat option in adobe illustrator so i will show you once again so let's see if i click over here it simply replicates or it mirrors exactly in symmetry and if i want this i will double click i'll get out and since i selected this one and if you want it separately you can simply go to object expand okay and now you can right click and you can simply ungroup so you will get this shape again i will ungroup maybe one more time we need to expand and ungroup like this so we will get the separate of separate shape so uh, using the repeat option you can clearly create some really cool shapes and that too very easily so this is a very useful option while creating some patterns and some really cool shapes so do give it a go so that's it for this video if you find this video useful please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next video until then bye bye and cheers